Great Fire is a group of anonymous activists who monitor and challenge Chinese internet censorship. It is all for Chinese netizens, a workaround for websites that are blocked in China. I mean, Great Fire is one of the great organizations uh, who is really fighting hard. Against censorship in China. 十一月，苹果再次顺从中共当局的要求，针对大陆用户移除了自由微博。When people think about、uh, whether or not to support Great Fire, one of the things to remember is this isn't a huge organization with a large amount of funding. They're having a huge impact on a very small budget. Google is blocked in China. The company service is dark ahead of the anniversary of Tiananmen Square. Great Fire helps people living behind the firewall. To assess blocked information by regimes. Instagram, the popular photo sharing service owned by Facebook, has been blocked in China, according to numerous reports, including from Hong Kong-based reporters with the New York Times. The reports came amid pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong, where many have posted photos and videos, including of Hong Kong police firing tear gas at demonstrators. We know them as these very sort of,、uh, on one end, humble and shy and willing to learn in person folks. Who wield really big swords on on the technology space online? 有西方媒体记者日前致函中国国家互联网信息办公室，称从 greatfire.org 网站获悉呢，这个微软公司 Outlook 邮件服务啊，疑似遭到了中国权威部门的攻击。China's foreign ministry says it has no information about the disappearance of several Hong Kong book publishers who are linked to books critical of China. Apple removes the New York Times app from the iTunes Store in China to reportedly comply with local regulations. Both Apple and the New York Times announced January 5th that the English and Chinese language versions of the app have been removed. Guangxi Internet Service Wu Xiangyang, in providing VPN service and Fan Qiang Lu Mobile. 日前遭中共当局以所谓非法经营罪重判五年零六个月。As soon as China announced it would remove term limits on the presidency, its censors and propaganda machine kicked into gear. The surprise move would clear the way for Xi Jinping to stay in power indefinitely. Not everyone was on board. Chinese citizens took to social media networks to voice their disagreements. One user said he couldn't use the word disagree on Weibo because it was apparently a violation of the social platform's terms. But perhaps not surprisingly, those comments were swiftly removed. There is a wall between the contents and the people who want to access the information, and we don't have the ability to break the wall. Great Fire does. It appears that cyber activists have discovered a crack in China's Great Firewall and are now taking the battle against online censorship into uncharted territory. Cyber activists at greatfire.org are now using mirror websites, copies of existing sites, to make blocked sites available in China without the aid of firewall circumventing software. An organization that fights online censorship in China says it is under digital attack. A great fire says it has been under a denial of service attack, and so the site is overwhelmed with more traffic than it can handle. Now, earlier, I spoke to a representative of Great Fire, but he wished to keep his identity hidden, using a fake name and a digital voice to explain what was going on. We are being targeted because since the 25th anniversary of the June 4th incident. The Chinese authorities have ramped up their information controls quickly.
Freedom of speech was declared a human right 67 years ago. To make it a reality requires us to raise our ambitions, to collaborate, and to man change. Thank you. Will free speech prevail? Comment below.